happy? Yeah. You're very happy. How happy are you on a scale of one to ten, where one is I'm happy, oh so happy, and ten is like minions level of happy? Um, not four. Four. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's reasonably happy. Yeah, I'm still happy. Cool. Um, we are blessed, in case you haven't noticed or don't recognise him. Chris from Innescotland Comic Fest. Come on, get your plug in now. You might as well tell them when it is. It's sometime in May. Oh my <laughs> word, he can't even remember. The UK's winning small comic convention independent yeah. thing award. Yeah, I, I kind of like, I've just got this at this point, so it just all just, it'll happen fine. It'll, it'll just, you see, <laughs> they're resting on their laurels. This is when the slump begins. Uh, no, I think, it, uh, is it maybe the 8th? Yeah. Of? May, it's May. Oh, May. Oh, well, it's May. That, that narrows it down, at least. That's, that's better than nothing. Yeah, it's Saturday in May. I think it's the second Saturday in May. And a skill in it's in County for In fact, it's not, it's the 2nd of May, I do remember now. It's the first weekend because we decided to do it this I knew it would come back to you. Mm. Anyway, the entire reason you exist is because you bought new toys. Yes, I did. Uh, I backed this as a late backer. This was actually a Kickstarter. Um, it kickstarted in July of 2017. That's like a long time ago. Yes, that's what it funded. Right. So it funded then and it was due out in March 2018. This is... 2020. Yes, it is. Um, bear in mind, you know where I said I'm a late backer? Original backers who are like maybe backer number two, three, that kind of thing. Some of them still don't have it yet. This is why we hate these big projects. Dear backer, we would like to sincerely thank you for your support, your patience, and your help in the process of creating this game. Without your help, we couldn't have made the game you've just received. We are proud of it, and we're glad that you're one of the first people to hold it in their hands. You, the late backer. <laughs> you and other backers have created a wonderful community, not only during the Kickstarter campaign itself, all those years ago, but also afterwards. It is an honour that we can count you as a member of this great community. I'm kind of bored reading that. Is there anything else meaningful in here? I haven't opened it. So this is uh, fresh. I haven't looked at anything other than to see what was there. Have again. you even licked the box? I opened it. I mean, any of the boxes? No, no, I haven't opened any. Because you don't own them unless you've licked them. Well, it's got cellophane on it, so until I take the cellophane off, you know... Really oh, look, there's the, the misprinted index. Yes. And here is a sheet of how to play the game, apparently. These are the quick start rules, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. My word, look at those flow charts. Do you know what? That's actually impressed me. That's more impressive than I thought it was going to be. Flow charts. Streets. Oh yes. This, oh, this is like nice art. Nice, nice cyberpunk art. Yep. Yeah. Because, you know, the game hangs on whether the art's good or bad. Uh, yes. It even says here on the box, style over substance. Never a truer statement. No, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we we have been familiar with games that offered style over substance before. Yes, uh, I back this because I like shiny things, and I'm into cyberpunk. Always have been love sci-fi, you know, Blade Runner esque things. Uh, this really just hit that. Uh, so, what game are you really going to use the minis for? Well, if this is good, I'll use it for this. If not, for Reality's Edge. <laughs> okay, Reality's Edge, I was pretty used. Ah! Anyway, moving on then. A far be it for me to take away your thunder, because I can't even pretend to know anything about this. I vaguely, in the mists of time, remember this coming up on Kickstarter, and taking one look at it and going, that's going to be a disaster. And just scrolled on to something that was in one box. Um, but you stuck with it. Well, actually, I, I at the time, I was like, oh, I can't afford this. And then this late backer thing about a year later came up and said, and I was like, at that stage, it's like, oh, I've got spare money. Look at me, I've got all this money I don't need. Yeah, so I thought, yeah, I'll get that. How much money? This actually is about uh, this, which comes with this, and all the stretch goals, £72. So everything here is £72. No, this, this box and that and box. And that box. Yes. This... Uh, was I actually got a little bit later, that was £40. It's like an expansion set. 
Okay. Okay, so a bit, what were we saying, about 100 quid? Uh, yeah, if you're on it. This now, just this box, without the stretch goals, just this on its own, is going now for about £80 retail. So. Oh, that's heavy. There's a lot of cardboard in it. Is there minis in it as well? There is, yes. Okay, well, crack on then, come on. Okay. Let the kids at home see what you bought. Let us start with this one, it's the main box. And then we we'll worry about the stretch goals afterwards. Yeah, because they always matter so much. Uh, yeah. I was going to take your rubbish for you, but I won't now. Sorry, I'm, ma I'm making life difficult for you, so. Okay. So it comes like this with books and the start of it. Human Interface, the Cyberpunk board game, Be a Better Human, The Secret Agenda, and The Rule Book. Yeah. I like the size of The Rule Book. I mean, you can't really fault the quality of this. This is on, it's printed on nice paper, it's got nice art, it's got a nice layout. Does it work? We will see. Yeah, because I do have vague flashbacks now. I'm almost breaking out in a cold sweat of playing Sedition Wars and spending like two hours trying to figure out where the rules were for opening a door. Yeah. Yeah, I do, like, I do like the art. It's nice and clean. There does seem to be, there appears to be plenty of, here's a thing, here's where the thing goes, here's what the thing does. Oh, here's a little polite box reminding you a cool thing about the thing. Yes. So that bodes reasonably well. Green, things you can do. Red, things you cannot do. Well, that's nice and simple. There are, there are a few things. This was uh, produced in Poland. Now, it says on the Kickstarter it was produced in the UK. That is a bold-faced lie. This was made in Poland. This is not true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maybe they packaged it in the you, UK. You can also... Well, no. No. Uh, <laughs> you can tell that um, there are a few translation issues in terms of the characters' names. Because it's a cyberpunk name, they all have weird and wacky names. But there's things that just don't necessarily work in English. Like there's a rocker character called Johnny the Silver, as opposed to just Johnny Silver. Maybe he is the silver. Yeah, Maybe he is. But the then silver. there's another character called Morgan the Black, and Morgan the Black sounds right. Yeah, if Johnny Silver. He's a rocker. It doesn't really fit. There, there's things like that which is my suspicion. There's these guys that look like Chappy, or you know the District Nine movie. They look exactly like it. They do. Yes. Um. The heroes seem okay. The game with this kind of soft sculpt, you know, the kind of... Yes, hence why I, I have a few of these which I got beforehand. I've painted them. And they do hold the detail better than they look. Okay. Well, they, they look all right. Well, they do, but... Uh, for example... All right, here we go. There's the rocker character. Oh, no, that's, that's nice. Did you add the wire? I did add the wire. It's in the, the artwork, he has the wire. So you added the wire? Yes. That, that looks quite all right. It's like a guitar machine gun. Yes. Guitar gun. Mm -hmm. It's got a little pink in the air, too. Yeah. Oh, that's quite cute, mate. Yeah. Well done. So, I, I... Now, as I remember, this kind of plastic is what they did the Conan miniatures in. And as you remember, the Conan miniatures, when they painted up, looked really good. They really did. Yeah. yeah. You got a little bag of studies there. So this this is chock full. We've got different types of security guard and bot and minion yeah. sort of tucked oh, in yeah. there. Along we should probably talk cards. about what type of card game this is anyway. This is like a skirmish dungeon-y crawl sort of a thing. Uh, with lots of... Uh, you can play it co-op. You can play it skirmish mode. And then you can play it solo mode. So it does have, you know, solo I, play. I am liking these minions. Yeah, a lot of it's sort of like government agent types, military police. I, mean, I think the idea is they're going with classic cyberpunk. You're like this ragtag team of mercenaries sticking it, you know, up against the man, trying to like, you know, fight it. it to the man. Yeah, going up against government corruption, that kind of thing. You know, big corporations and all that. Yeah, the one thing with the cards... Um, there's a lot of hacking in this game, and that's a big part of the gameplay, is that you're constantly being attacked, your cyber gear. Things like if you say if a you know cyber eyes, they're being someone's trying to hack them. Yeah. Or you know, limbs and things like that. The more cyber gear you have, the more you know open you are to being hacked. And instead of dice, this game doesn't use dice, it, it uses something called can-do cards, 
which are basically like these little cards with like numbers in them. So basically instead of dice, you just like flip a card. All oh, right, when you've exhausted your kind of out of options. Yeah. Okay. I think so. There's a lot of cardboard in here. Yeah. Um, loads of tokens with really tiny writing. Really tiny writing. Yeah, magnifying glasses might be a good thing for this game. Double-sided neuro chips, those things are. And counters. Yeah. These. Oh, doors. doors. Don't know what these are. Little, little rooms and more doors. Oh yeah, these are the player boards. See, actually, these have like little slidey. That's what they're for. The This is your player board. And see the little discs? Yeah. You put those well, in. them, don't show mine. I don't care. Okay, little discs and things. Well, when we put these together later, you'll see in a few pictures. We do. Ignore him. <laughs> Look, there must be Nazis in it or something. Oh, yes. So These pictures have suitcases on them. And that looks like virtual reality tokens. Right, well. Clips for holding doors up, I guess. There's nine of these, which would indicate to me nine people can play this. Five starting characters? Yeah. Six, seven, maybe there's extras in the boxes. Well, in this box, it's, it's full of all the Kickstarter extras. These look to be little rooms, keep straight ahead, keep walking. They're like corridors or yeah. link areas. Yeah, little corridors and things. I think you've got to like hack the doors open, that kind of thing. It, it's, it, there is that horrible sensation of, I've seen this already though. Oh yeah, this this is not reinventing the wheel. This is doing something. The only thing that's half original is they're not using dice. But even the yeah, that, it's it's putting me in mind. Just the content also kind of put me in mind of ABP as well. Yeah, uh, I mean actually, I mean look at that. Oh, sleep pods. Yeah, very AV or alien. But uh, there's definitely this actually this as a Kickstarter, I think has a lot of similarities to AVP. Right. Um, that's it, not necessarily a bad thing. Well, yeah, it's it's a similar thing. It's a similar type of game, but I think there are one or two things, like the fact that I mentioned at the start that I've received this before original backers and yeah. stuff, and this is in retail. That kind um, of sucks. Now, I don't think that's actually as big a deal as maybe some people make out. People are making out that this is really, really bad online uh, in terms of that because the stuff's late. I don't think it is because this is kind of common occurrence with Kickstarters now. They, they need to get product into shops to make money because yeah. an awful lot of these guys seem to be running Kickstarters at a loss whether they're not doing their maths right well, or Well, I think I what know. happens is they actually they get the cost right of what the general thing costs but where they go wrong is the... The prices have changed by the time it no, hits reality. Well, I think it's what happens is things get delayed, like sitting waiting in China, and you're just your living bills and everything else, your storage fees all go up, and I think that's where they all get hit in the end. Leave a few of these out because we'll grab some before grass these yeah. close up for peeps. Okay. Set this over to the side. This is the fancy sort of side box. Here's one I made it's, earlier. Yeah. So I backed a few extra bits as well, but no, this is just what generally came with it. I've got the creaky chair. Well, of course you do. Okay. Is that a pizza box? No. It does look like one, doesn't it? Does it does look like a pizza box. Okay, yeah, that's right. So it's an extra tray that doesn't fit in your core box, but it's designed to. Yes. <laughs> well, you can put it on top and the lid just won't close properly. Yeah, so I think that would be fine. Skirmish so. mode. Nice art again. Uh, yeah. Oh, hang on, this is like a gatefold picture. There you go. Yeah. That's kind of pretty. So is this. This has got the orphans, I think they're on it. So this is like all missions again. So it's again, you're, you're, you're right, it's that kind of dungeon crawl. It's Space Hulk. It's Edition Wars. Yeah. It's AVP. Yeah, it's just got the cyberpunk throw to it because it's all... Uh, so we've got the coloured discs that we're missing from the, the previous box because that's a quick way to tell your character. Actually, you're not, they're not for the characters. They oh, are for these. Oh, oh. These are for the little like nodes. These Dad are back, nodes. Yeah, that's what they're for. Now this, this I'm going to try and hold this. I'll take the cards out because they'll just fall. Uh, again, we'll try and get you some photographs of these guys. But uh, that is a rather nice little selection of minis sitting right there. That's a much more interesting box of minis than the core box. Because the core box is all kind of repeats. I know these are repeats as well, but we know they're not. Uh, they're in different poses. Well, I mean, they are repeats. Still they are repeats. Yeah. yeah. No, these aren't. These guys are. Oh yeah, they're repeats, but they're yeah. like axe murderer. So we've it's got been hacked into reload guy, 
axe murderer dude. We've got a drone with a flying stand. Yeah, so I have, I have a couple of extra drones as well. They get one with the box. And then there's, there's this this dude street here. Street samurai? Yeah. Look at that dude. Oh, that's kind of scary looking. Yeah, isn't it? Is that chainsaws or guns? Well, I think they're like real cannons. Sweet. Yeah. Fire them up there. Fire them up because we'll grab pictures of these dudes as well. Nice little motorcyclist. Okay, uh, just so we can do a comparison for, for you to see. This is the rocker man in the box. Oh, yeah. Now, I've got to say, yeah. your painted one, I would not have expected it to look that good because that does look a bit poor. Do you know what it is? It's the colour of plastic. Yeah. The Conan, see the hero figures in Conan came this colour too and you looked at them and they looked really soft and crappy. Then you put paint on them. And they came to life. No, fair, fair play. Yeah. I'm liking a lot of these poses here. Yeah. Um, now, this is where... Tight. We're going to get into a quick thing here. Now, see this guy on this one? Yeah. I wasn't supposed to get them in the box. Right. So when I ordered this, I got that figure so I have two of this one now oh, cool. because well I ordered it at the time because they said oh it doesn't come with the box it was a, it got unlocked as an optional buy but they just decided to throw it in fair enough yeah sure why not rager with a big yeah. machine or a rocket yeah. launcher he is back. romper stomper okay yeah. some sort of drone interface going on there there's him oh wait yeah. oh. or you can not, just drop him not painted yet though <laughs> he's a nice one well, she technically, it's her. I'm not sure. I don't like to cast dispersion. I've got fake arms over my real arms. Yeah, I think that's the big girl where she's like a little girl with like cyber arms on her back. I like, I'm going to get this one. This looks very like a, an assassin. Aye, these are the orphans. That's like a 40k assassin going on right there. That's that's really nice. Yeah, they, these are all these are all quite pretty. I want to get this drone out, but there we go. The, the, say. the hole's not big enough. Yes, I, I noticed that. Is these the same? I brought an extra set. That drone wasn't supposed to come with the set either. <laughs> so I ordered a set of drones. Oh, it was it? I well, I don't think you can ever have too many drones. Well, not. We see that it had, you know, in the other box, it has like the ground ones, but it'd be nice to have a few flying ones. I made it work. Yeah. And like Wolverine going on here. Mm hmm. Yeah, those those are nice. Uh, this box makes me excited. Okay, I wasn't supposed to get him either, but I did. Uh, and he got added actually last minute. So, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, and this one here looks a little bit like Decker. Yes, that was the one that I think everyone really was like liking. Yeah, that's that that's quite cool. It's kind of the Decker pose and all. Yeah. And there's sort of a classic punk. Yep. Okay. So the the minis are definitely a win. Yeah, the minis are definitely a win. There's there's a lot of good to be said about these. Oh, here the components are lovely. I mean, the trays are great. There's everything. Everything's lovely. I just am really interested to see what happens when we start trying. Well, to play yeah, it. I think you're you're gonna have to come back with this so we can kind of see what gameplay like. What's these guys? Raid Forty Four. They're basically just tactical cops. Okay. I ordered that. Now they actually come with a few of their own bits, but they're slightly different. They they were for the original game. Right. This is where I. I I've noticed this with Kickstarters now, and I think it's kind of a warning sign. They did a Kickstarter called Nakamura Tower, Human Interface. And before it came out, they'd already started this Kickstarter. Okay. And then they'd already started another before this one came out. Now, the third one didn't actually fund in the end. It was kind of a, a cyberpunk corporate, uh, kind of like Command and Conquer, like you're going to different worlds and you're terraforming. Okay. So imagine like you're a corporate uh, Whale and Yutani guy in Aliens. That's kind of what that was going with. That sort of vibe. Uh, your different types of that. So I, I've started to notice that with Kickstarters. They're, if they're doing a Kickstarter and then all, halfway through before they've been delivered it, they're starting another one. It's a kind of a warning sign. It's this thing about people are talking about paying like Robin Peter and Pay Paul. One yeah. Kickstarter is paying for the next one or paying for the last one. Yeah. It is kind of worrying. What's your, your last box of Doom? Oh yes, this is the add-on. So it was £40 when I got it. I think it's £45 retail. If I can try and get my fingernail to open this up. This You're not going to get in? No, I'm not going to get in. I'd love to help you, but I can't. <laughs> Do I even? Oh, I have a penny. penny I had a pen knife, but it's a Miller coat. You don't have a penny. I'll try 50p. That might That's work. much bigger. 
You know, it's got an edge. Since when? <laughs> there we go. I'm in. Hey, that's what she said. Enough of your aspersions. <laughs> I don't even like asparagus. <laughs> you missed a button in the corner. Just helping. I had. Yeah. This looks like a light uh, sock. This, this more is more minis. Very much like the Peter, I think there's a Peter Gibson novel, Neuromancer, I think is a cover like that. So, very much inspired by that. This would be. Kind of looks like a techno dance album. It does, yes. So, I say that without judgment. Well, it is from Poland. <laughs> yes, get your head right up. <laughs> no, I refuse to. There's a 10th command board. Yes, there is. There's an 11th command board. There's a 12th command board. Oh, Why have you got this many command There's a 13th command board. Do you just want to lift out all the command boards? 13. Maybe it's like the doctors in Doctor Who. Yeah, there's the rule book. <laughs> <laughs> Tax free shopping, big echo. Oh, kind of Kira going on in the back there. The cardboard um, tiles, they're nice, they're well made, but they all kind of look the same. Yeah, there's a uniformity to them all. No, I, I get it. They've, they've chosen an aesthetic and they're going with it. They're going with this sort of like corporate, very clean. Very it's clean. the future and everything's clean. And there's lots of neon, which is fine, but. Everything's um, neon. Yeah, you kind of expect, you know, an add-on to be sort of interesting, maybe different tiles, you would sort of think. Yeah, let's let's throw caution to the wind and have some more kind of grimy and dirty. Or yeah. seedy even. Yeah, but not really, no. So more things for the control boards. Okay, and this is... Uh, oh. I'm not here. Yes, you're not there. You're invisible. So we've got more of these guys. The... More They're cops and things. More cops. These guys have got rifles as opposed to pistols. Oh. That's what right over. More characters. Yeah, three more characters. Uh, you've got this girl with like sort of a weird looking samurai sword thing. Yeah. Okay, why not? This guy who... <sighs> is falling off a rock. I don't even want to describe what he looks like. He's just crazy. He appears to have cyber feet. And cyber arms. Cyber feet and cyber claws, and is wearing shorts or possibly a skirt. So more weapons and equipment, more characters. Can't fathom that. That might not. Well, I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's that's there's that a day which I already have that one painted. Roller blades and a big knife. Oh yeah, well that looks really well. Mm. That looks much better painted than unpainted. Yeah. This is why I did it, because I, I've known from using this, this type of colour plastic before, it doesn't show the detail, because it's noticeable. The blue ones look better. They, they actually do, and it's weird, yeah, because I find myself sort of admiring the blue ones and being quite dismissive of the grey ones, unfairly, until you show me the painted version. I'm like, oh, that works really well. So yeah, maybe it's, it's my poor eyes and this weak light in here, and the fact that it's grey plastic. No, it isn't just you. It's error. I noticed it when the Conan Kickstarter came, the same thing. They didn't look the same. Yeah. Well, all we can do now is hope that you get time in between work to learn how this works or doesn't work and then show us some of it working so we can go, ooh, it's not disappointing. Your hundred and whatever pounds was well spent and you're not actually an idiot. That's probably not going to happen. <laughs> but no, we'll certainly give it a go. Uh, yeah. I, think, I think this is just going to take a little bit of time to get used to it. But the fact that they actually came with that extra sheet of like the quick start rules has impressed me. I think that may be a new addition uh, that they've started to throw in. Quick, let's teach people how this works fast. Yeah, I've, I've got to say, I think pound for pound for what you spent, I think you've got enough nice minis to nearly justify kind of the cost. The fact that I know you and you're never going to be shy of a reason to use minis. Mm -hmm. There's there's enough variation amongst them that, you know, if you turn around and in a week's time say to me, you know, well, Andy, I hate to say it, the game sucks. Um, I'm throwing all of the paper parts in the bin. 
Um, I don't think you've lost out in terms of the minis you've got. No. No, well, the thing is, I've heard, it's mixed reports I've heard from other people who've been reviewing it. Uh, there are some people saying that it's fine, you just need to really, really read the rule book. But I've heard a few things that there's little conflicting bits. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So, but no, I, I'm actually quite happy with it. In terms of what it is, it's, there's no other board game that, uh, the, that's cyberpunk. In yeah. this world. So it's exactly what I wanted. And I suppose with things like Cyberpunk 2077 and stuff coming out, you've got that kind of vibe of doing the role playing games and all too. Yes. So there's always the option that these could appear quite happily for you as a ready to go selection of corporate dudes and gangs yeah. for a Cyberpunk RPG too. Now I say that a lot of this actually um, fits that role anyway. So I knew that I was never going to be stuck anyway. There was enough minis and stuff coming with it where even if the game... But I, I, I'm actually going to try the game. I want, to, I want it to work. I do want the game to work. I want it to work for you. <laughs> yeah. So I'm hoping it'll work. Um, but I'll tell you what, I'm happy enough. For what I've spent there, I think I'm happy enough with everything that's come in the game. Yeah, seems like reasonable value for, for in terms of minis at least. So fingers crossed. You know, I mean, look at the amount of cards. Like, they're just ridiculous amounts and it's all like body enhancements and things and he's happy that's all that really matters at the end of the day yeah he's he's a four and his happiness scale of one to ten well i'm probably a five now this has made me brought me up to a five. Oh, it's been worthwhile opening it then. That's, that's paid off and if you play the game you'll maybe go the whole way up to a six well let's not get ahead of ourselves well, yeah, be, <laughs> one, one step at a time sweet jesus right <laughs> Thanks for watching, yeah. kids. We may or may not be back with more from Human Interface if Chris ever gets the time to read all the mini words in the rule book and watch the mini videos and read the quick pay rules. We may not ever see it again. <laughs> the next time we see it, we might like, that's a nice mini. Yeah, it's out of that Kickstarter I bought five years ago. Ah, oh, I haven't seen them in a while. And they'll just shuffle off to the corner <laughs> and not speak to anyone for the rest of the night. No, no. I, th I do think I'm probably going to get trying this fairly soon, but... Uh... I'm sure you'll rope some idiot into playing with Well, you. I'm I'm sort of hoping that to this year to actually be more productive. I've already finished off a couple of little projects. I did Kelly's Heroes for Paul. I finished that for him. Yep. So I've, I'm, I'm trying to be more productive this year, so we will see. Be a, a useful member of society. Yes. Good boy. Thanks for watching, kids. Any Bye. comments, any feedback? <laughs> Have you played Human Interface? What's your thoughts on it? Give us a comment down below. If you liked the video, hit like. If you didn't like the video, just go away. Uh, we don't need your negativity. We're negative enough. We want hate. We just need to look in a mirror. <laughs> Bye for now. See ya.